this story time children today we are going to learn this story we improve our english through the story reading story name is the magic fruit the magic fruit once upon a time there was a king who was very fond of keeping birds as pets among the king's pets was a parrot who was very wise he helped the king to take decision about all the important matters of administration the parrot was called abhishek or abhi abhi was always by the side of the king to give him advice the courtiers did not like him they were very envious but were helpless now one day as the king sat surrounded by his courtiers a large flock of parrots flew in and settled among the branches of a tree nearby abhi was sitting near the king in a short while all the parrots on the tree started talking to abhi in a shrill voice abhi said to the king your majesty my parents feel lonely and miss me very much and want me to visit them so saying he requested the king to grant him leave to fly home the king could not bear the thought thought of being parted from abhi how would he manage the affairs of the state in abhi's absence and suppose you never return the king now showed the real fear he had this is english reading practice we learn english through the stories learn english by stories no your majesty that can never happen how can i forget my master i will definitely return and more abhi paused for a while and said on my return i will bring back with me a magic fruit for you it gives eternal youth to the one who eats it the king allowed abhi to fly back to his native land for a week abhi so abhi and the flock of parrots flew back to their native land across the ocean over mountains and across forests abhi now returned to his parents who were overjoyed to welcome him they stretched their break beaks and lovingly cursed abhi however like 
all good things the week soon ended it was time for abhi to return to the royal court at this abhi's parents felt sad but they believed that one should never forget one's promise on the eve of his departure abhi asked for one thing from his parents can i take one of the magic fruit with me as a gift for the king abhi's parents gladly gave him the magic fruit and so the parrot flew back across the ocean over mountains and across forests back to the king who so much loved him the king was very much delighted to see the parrot and more he had brought the magic fruit with him the king was overjoyed why not plant the fruit in the royal garden your majesty advised the courtiers the king liked the idea and so that seed was planted the tree grew in the royal garden soon soon nice soon nice tiny fruits yet green and unripe were hanging from it one day a big ripe fruit fell on the ground and hit a large poisonous cobra passing along at that moment angry the cobra stung it the poison entered the fruit next morning the royal gardener picked up the fruit and hurriedly went to the palace he put the fruit at the feet of the king who was delighted he gave the good news to all the courtiers let us offer it to the idol in the temple said the courtiers and so the magic fruit with the poison of the cobra in it was taken to the temple as an offering to god the priest was happy to receive it he cut it into small pieces and distributed them as prasad to all his family members they all ate the fruit and soon died of the poison the news spread everywhere the courtiers who were full of envy now saw their chance to take revenge on abhi your majesty they said this is all the evil work 
of the wicked abhi this is a part of a plot to kill you and to kill us all the king readily believed what the courtier said in a fit of anger he took out his sword and killed abhi the tree was now known as the poisonous tree people were afraid even to look at it a fence was put around it and no one thought of ever touching it one day a washerman and his wife were passing by that tree they were an old couple they constantly quarreled with each other they hated each other so much that they wanted to end their lives the washerman's eye fell on the tree there it was the solution he jumped up and grabbing one of the fruits from its branches quickly took a bite of it look i am going to die this very moment i will be free from you and you are nagging whoever eats the fruits fruit dies instantly but his wife was more than a match for him that same moment she too jumped up and snatched the magic fruit from her husband's hand digging her teeth into it she chewed off and even larger bright from it the washerman and his wife let themselves down under the tree they closed their eyes they were sure to die they know next morning when they woke up they looked at each other in utter astonishment utter astonishment utter astonishment they were no longer the elderly couple they were now changed into a pair of a young man and woman the two could not believe their eyes what a miracle the story soon spread far and wide it reached the royal court the king came to hear it and since the secret of it he called for the gardener and asked him did you pick the magic fruit from one of the branches of the tree or did you find it lying on the ground the gardener spoke the truth He had found it lying on the ground near the tree. In a flash, the king saw his mistake. The fruit must have been stung by some poisonous creature. My abhi, 
cried the king there was no plot no plan to kill him or to kill anybody moral of the story is never take any decision in haste think calmly before jumping to conclusions have patience thank you friends bye bye please like share and subscribe